गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज मानस पटनायक योर फ्रेंड एंड ट्यूटर इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल आई मेक कॉन्टेंट ऑन इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग एंड इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स एंड वेरी सुन वील ऑल्सो बी स्टार्टिंग विद बेसिक इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग द एग्जाम्पल दैट आई बी डिस्कसिंग इन टूडे सेशन इज फ्रॉम द चैप्टर प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ लाइन्स आई ऑलरेडी अपलोडेड मोर देन थर्टी वीडियोज ऑन दिस टॉपिक एंड स्टूडेंट्स हैव रियली अप्रिशिएटेड माई वर्क बट अगेन देर आर फ्यू मोर स्क्रूज विच नीड सम टाइटनिंग लेट मी इलाबोरेट students are usually comfortable with projection of lines in the first quadrant this line could be parallel it could be inclined to hp it could be inclined to vp or there could be a combination line inclined to both hp and vp simultaneously there is in fact a standard procedure which you guys can follow and complete the projections very very easily the problem arises when a line which is inclined to both hp and vp changes quadrants that means one end of the line is in the first quadrant while the other is in the third quadrant this is the case that students find difficult to comprehend as they are unable to visualize the problem and that's exactly what i wish to address in today's session and from now on you will have absolutely no confusion regarding visualization so here we go a line pq 120 mm long very well is inclined at 45 degrees to the vertical plane and 30 degrees to the horizontal plane plenty of data in the first sentence here it is length of the line is 120 mm 45 degree angle with vp so that's why this symbol phi angle made with vp and the angle made with hp has been given as theta wonderful let's read the second sentence the end p end p of the line is in the second quadrant whereas the end q is in the fourth quadrant and this is where it starts getting confusing okay one end of the line is in the second quadrant while the other end is in the fourth quadrant how to visualize it for that we'll be using the 3d environment and autocad don't worry okay let me read this further uh first of all end p is the it is a part of the second quadrant end q it is in the fourth quadrant wonderful reading further a point r on pq 50 mm from p 50 mm from p so there is this line pq p and q and somewhere along this line you've got a point r which happens to be at a distance of 50 mm from this p and that is exactly what has been given so basically you can think of this problem problem of projection of line as if this line is having two segments this is segment 1 and this over here is the segment 2 what is the total length of the line sir it is 120 mm so if this is 50 how much is this going to be sir this has got to be 70 done okay so let me first of all state that rp has been given as 50 mm that's the given data okay and reading further <laughs> we are informed that this point point r is in both the planes sir what does this mean when you say planes we are talking about vertical plane and horizontal plane so point r has been placed in such a manner that it is a part of vp and hp both how is this possible sir well it is i'll show it to you don't worry let me move to autocad and this is going to be fun here we go this very interesting case sir where is the line you are showing the principal planes over here and by the way this is the vertical plane this is the horizontal plane and this is the line along which uh, these two planes are intersecting the reference line you remember okay 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 where is the line sir here it is that's your line now you can clearly see p r q let me reiterate 50 r p and rq is 70 so adding the two will give you 120 mm as the true length of the line okay sir and this point r is a part of vp and also it is a part of hp okay you can see this very very clearly now what sir when you make the projections it is going to be a uh, something of the sort okay that's how point p has been projected on the vertical plane and on the horizontal plane on the vertical plane this point p is p dash and on the horizontal plane it is p in the same fashion point q has been projected on this horizontal plane this is going to be its top view simply q okay no dash and this is the projection of point q 
on the vertical plane q dash okay sir okay this is a problem which is give you going to give you a proper i mean this demonstration is going to give you a proper visualization okay let me go back to the normal board all right sir as far as the front and top views are concerned you will see this this is going to be your front view and as i have told you above the reference line okay so now since point p is in the second quadrant its front and top view will be above the reference line and since point q here is a part of fourth quadrant or it is in the fourth quadrant its projection both front and top view will be below the reference line this is the front view let me take a look at the top view again in the top view also you can see the point p is above the reference line whereas point q is below the reference line again let me show this front view front view that's the front view okay if you want to have a much more clearer picture let me switch off the line and let me switch off the projectors top view and the front view okay here it is uh, let me switch off the front view for a while and let me show you the top view when i say top view just a second let me get it back to the normal board when i say top view join q with p okay this is how it would look from the top and here it is this is exactly what you guys need to draw and when i say the front view let me show the front view too here it is this is the front view when you connect p dash with q dash here it is q dash with p dash okay that's the front view now all of these things can be drawn using a very systematic procedure something which i have already taught to all of you okay in the initial lectures right let's get going okay remember here it is one more thing that i would like to reiterate is when you talk about second quadrant there is this reference line above which you will have the front view and the top view when you talk about the fourth quadrant there is this reference line below which you have to draw the front view and the top view okay top view these are the only things that you need to keep in your inside your head okay now let me erase all of these things let me draw the reference line so point r it is on the reference line okay so that is why i'm going to make a point over here since it is on the reference line its front view and top view are going to coincide right so for r dash i have written this locus of r and top front view for r i have written this locus of r and top view very well now what so uh, right now we can consider only one segment of the line when i say one segment of the line that is rp right rp rp is in the second quadrant if you guys want to have a look rp is in the here it is switch off the projectors gets confusing rp is in the second quadrant that means the projection of rp the front and top view both of them will be above the reference line and when we perform the projections for rq you will observe this that both the front view and the top view will be below the reference line okay this is going to happen very very soon watch this so uh, again 30 degrees with hp what is the length we are considering rp only 50 millimeters here we go 50 millimeters 30 degrees theta this is p1 dash and let me write this as locus of p in front view done sir now what make this angle phi 45 degrees and then incline a line 50 millimeters long do it locus of p in top view done okay very well now what sir uh, as far as projections are concerned i need to discuss something with you okay you've already seen this diagram if a line is inclined simultaneously to both hp and vp we actually follow this procedure right this is for first quadrant but it is perfectly applicable for the remaining three quadrants also you can go ahead and do that as far as second quadrant is concerned both the front view that is this a dash b dash and a b both of them will be above this reference line you will see that happening very very soon okay so here it is uh, a dash is r dash b dash is p dash i want all of you to take a screenshot of this picture this is going to act as a reference for 
the projection that we are just about to make okay remember take a picture okay and refer it let me go back so starting with p1 dash project it downwards mark it as p1 with r p1 as the radius okay and with this as the center rotate until you reach here this is going to give you the exact location of p in top view okay if you want p in front view you can simply project it downwards it is going to cut over here and you can mark it as p dash that is also correct but sometimes two teachers get offended if you follow the shortcut okay uh, that's the shortcut that you must remember right and secondly what you can do is you can project this okay i mean first of all let me join p with this r over here again this single point is for r dash as well as r right so connect p with r done sir what is this angle l? sir this is the top view isn't it yes so this has got to be beta you can do the measurements and write them down over here okay i don't care secondly what we'll do is we'll project this p2 in the downward direction we'll mark it as p2 dash and now we are going to take this r dash p2 dash as the radius and we are going to rotate it until we intersect the locus of p in front view somewhere here this is going to give you p dash so if you watch again both of them fall on this vertical line isn't it so as i have already told you segment segment r p of the line its front view and top view will be above this reference line you can see this okay and uh, since we have made this this is the front is this the front no this is the top view r p and this p dash when joined with r dash will give you the front view okay this is the top view this is the front view let me write this again this is the top view this is the front view now let us repeat the same process let us repeat the same process and uh, what we are going to do now is this is 50 millimeters extend okay over here this is true length 50 millimeters this is true length 70 millimeters so this is the locus of q in the front view in the same fashion uh, this is 50 millimeters so extend right again 70 millimeters right this is going to be the locus of q in top view okay let me reiterate this over here is theta nothing else and this over here has pi what we did uh, i mean what we did for the line segment of the line the second second quadrant we are going to repeat the same steps for the other segment in the fourth quadrant okay here we go again so start this is going to be start q1 now with q1 r as the radius rotate until it intersects somewhere here this is going to give you q you can straight away mark this q dash over here right again no no i mean you don't have offend the teacher what you can do is basically q2 project it just a second let me complete this okay top view completed project this q2 mark this let's say this is q2 dash now with q2 dash r dash as the radius and with this r dash as the center rotate until we reach or intersect this locus of q in front view somewhere here this is going to give you the precise location of q dash okay now you can simply say this this is r dash this is q dash done this over here represents a segment rq of the line pq this over here represents segment rp of the line again when you talk about segment rp it is a part of second quadrant when you talk about segment rq it is a part of the fourth quadrant and whenever you talk about second quadrant both the front views and the top views are above the reference line when you talk about the fourth quadrant both the front view and the top view are below the reference line you can see this very very nicely okay and uh, this is the front view of the segment qr and this if you can go on segment rp's front view and please note this these two are going to fall along this vertical line perfectly 
okay so that is the complete solution to this problem okay so students if you find this content helpful do like and share the video subscribe to the channel also press the bell icon so that you are notified whenever i upload a new video thank you very much good day